Pinnacle Studio 23 adds a great new feature to speed up your workflow and keep your projects organized. Clip nesting. You can group any number of clips on your timeline and send them to a sub-project, which provides the ability to apply effects or property changes to the whole nested project. Or save a template for a lower third or other type of animation that you regularly use, but that you need to be able to dynamically alter some elements of. For example, change some text. Let's dive in. You may already know about grouping clips on your timeline by selecting them with your mouse, control and clicking on individual clips, or shift and clicking a row of back-to-back -back clips, and then right-clicking and selecting group, and then group again. Now when I select just one of these clips, all the clips in the group will be selected. Clip nesting works in the same way, except it's much more powerful. If I ungroup these tracks, make a new selection, and then save group as project, then give the project a name. You'll notice that all of these clips are now in a project of their own on my timeline. I can then make property changes to the whole sequence. Let's decrease the size. Rotate it slightly. Give it a white border. And you can see all the clips are affected in the same way. And these property changes are keyframable. So let's set a position keyframe here, then jump back a few frames and set another keyframe so the sequence starts off screen. The property changes are applied to the whole sequence of clips as if they were one clip. That's not all though. All of the clips within this nested group are still completely editable. Just double click the nested clips and you'll see Pinnacle Studio opens the group in a new timeline. You can easily change the order or anything else about your clips then jump back to the original timeline with the tab and all of the changes are immediately reflected on the main timeline. This opens up some interesting possibilities. You'll notice at the start of my timeline I have a bunch of clips with masks that combine to create this lower third title animation. I want to repeat the lower third for each of these three people on my timeline and with clip nesting this is easy. Just select all of these clips, right click and save group as project. This tidies up my timeline and means I can get rid of all these tracks and mask tracks that are now empty. And if I double click the nested clips, I can see that Danny is shown as the name in the lower third. If I go back to the main timeline, I can select the nested clips and while pressing control, can drag a new instance of this group to the next location that I need this lower third on my timeline. If I double click the new group instance, you can see Pinnacle opens up a new tab. It doesn't go to the previously open one, which means I can replace the text for the subject's name. Return to my main timeline, and we can see the name is updated in the second subject, but it still shows as Danny in the first instance. Let's repeat this for the third subject in my project. So you can see, I don't need to repeat all the work I've done with masks and text animation to recreate this lower third. I can just use my first instance and organize my timeline in a logical way. One point to note, when you have any of these nested clips or sub-projects showing in your timeline tabs, when we go to save movie, the project that will be saved is the main project file, complete with all of these nested clip groups present. If you want to add a sub-project to a new project file, for example, to reuse the lower third in another project, go to New Project, and you'll see that the lower third has been added to your project bin. Just drag it to the timeline and you can use it again. Clip nesting can perform some powerful functions whilst keeping your timeline organized and easy to navigate. Have fun with it and happy editing.